Want to pour yourself a drink before we begin? Just make sure not to grab the glass with your palm. Yep, that's right. The glass has a stem for a reason. Touching the glass bowl with your hands will alter the drink's temperature, and it will get warmer much sooner. While we're in the kitchen, let's check out your fridge. Most of those come with designated areas in the door shelves for eggs, but this may not be the best solution for storing them. The temperature in the door shelves tends to be a bit higher than in the fridge itself, so it's not the best place to store delicate types of food, like eggs or dairy. Make sure to remember that after your next trip to the supermarket. Also, while we're still browsing items in the fridge, did you know that waiting for food to cool down before refrigerating it may be bad for it? Keeping food at room temperature for more than two hours can increase its chances of going bad. So, pop it in as soon as possible. Just make sure to divide your food into smaller batches to help it cool down quicker. What's that in your fridge I just saw? Chocolate? Well, that's a big no-no. Regardless of the season, remember to never store chocolate in the fridge. The lower temperatures inside can cause the chocolate flavor to dull. Also, who wants to eat rock-hard chocolate anyway? When it comes to breakfast, next time you boil an egg, try putting a teaspoon of baking soda into the water when boiling. The eggshells will peel off way easier. Another tip is to crack the egg on one end and run it under the tap. The water stream will help peel off the shell faster and with way less of a mess. Fan of smoothies? Bet you didn't know there's actually a correct way to load up your blender. Start with the liquids, then pile up the solids as you go. The motion created by the movement of the liquids will ensure a smooth, clump-free, delicious breakfast or snack. After that, you can clean it by simply adding some dishwashing soap and some water and letting it blend away. No need to add it to the dishwasher anymore since the full cycle of the dishwasher can damage the metal plates on the blender. If you're ever in the mood for a peanut butter sandwich, but the peanut butter is all split with the oils on top, remember, there's a correct way to store it. Placing the peanut butter jar upside down in your cupboard will ensure the oils are spread out evenly. Love a good steak but never get a perfect consistency? You're probably digging in too soon. You have to let the meat rest after cooking for at least 10 minutes before you start cutting it. Using the right knife will also give you better results. A sharp knife will ensure you don't lose any of those lovely meat juices. It's pasta night. Ever wondered why there's a hole in the middle of the spaghetti spoon? Turns out you can use that hole to check how much pasta to cook per person. Now you know exactly how much of it to boil for that special marinara sauce of yours. When using non-stick pans, never use metal utensils. Go for wooden or plastic ones instead. The metal will be way too rough on the surface of your pans and can actually damage the non-adherent surface. Are you a leftovers for dinner type of person? Aren't we all? Quick tip for reheating your dinner in the microwave. Try spreading the food around the edges of the plate. Microwaves are indeed designed to heat food as evenly as possible, but not if the food is piled up. Ever try to take out a single Tic Tac from the tiny container? Just turn the box on its side. There's a cleverly designed slot on the plastic top precisely for that. No more shaking the Tic Tac box like a maniac. If you're up for some music but don't have a speaker around, don't worry. Placing your phone in a cup or a bowl will amplify the sound and make your experience so much better. In a hurry, and your phone is running out of battery, there's a simple way to reduce the charging time. Simply set the phone to airplane mode. You'll see, it'll charge up to 100% in no time. We all keep our phones in all sorts of places. Our pockets, bags, under our pillows. Hence, a lot of fuzz or lint can get stuck in the charging port. For safety reasons, turn the phone off before cleaning it. You can use specifically designed tools for cleaning the charging ports, speakers, or a microphone. Just be sure to be gentle. Nice desk you got there. Did you know that those little legs on the back of the keyboard are actually there to help you see the keys better? However, if you can type without having to look at the keyboard, don't use them to lift the keyboard up. This position can damage your wrists when using for a long period of time. If you like to keep your things organized and prefer to use sticky notes, just make sure to remove them from the notes cube from side to side to prevent curling. We all feel a little overwhelmed when it comes to storage, especially linens. One easy way to make sure you'll never get mixed sheets 
is to store each set in the matching pillowcase. Not only will you get easy access to each set, but it's way nicer to look at on the shelves. When it comes to storing clothing, people use wooden hangers for more than just aesthetic reasons. They may be bigger and heavier than plastic ones, but they also help repel moths. Keep that in mind, more so when storing winter clothes. Were you ever curious about that one extra loophole in your running shoes? That one just next to your ankles? Well, turns out it's there for a reason. The tighter the laces on your shoes, the less likely you are to get blisters. Always fit your shoes correctly and use that extra loop in the shoes if needed before you go for a run. Your dress shirts have a tiny secret too. On the inside of the shirt, right between the shoulders, there's a tiny loop that you can use to hang the garment whenever you don't have a hanger lying around. Nothing can ruin a good vacation more than unorganized baggage. To make sure you never have to stuff your luggage with a huge pile of random clothes, instead of folding, try rolling your stuff and placing it neatly in the baggage. This way, you save a lot of space. You have easy access to everything you need, and your clothes will be less wrinkled. Not to be intrusive, but there's a bunch of things I'd like to show you in the bathroom as well. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds each time to get rid of all the germs. To save the effort, open and close the tap with your wrist if possible. There you go. Squeaky clean hands for a longer period of time. Always brush your hair from the bottom if you want to get rid of any knots. Brushing your hair from the top will only cause more damage. When it's time to wash your hair, be sure to concentrate the shampoo on the scalp. Be careful though never to apply the shampoo directly to your head. Lather it a bit with some water between your hands before you start massaging it in. You can skip shampooing the lengths of your hair unless they're really dirty. The foam that goes down from your scalp is sufficient to clean that portion. Take good care of your loofah as well. Leaving it in a moist, warm shower can increase its chances of gathering all sorts of nasty bacteria. Either throw it in with your laundry once a week, or let it soak in a solution with diluted bleach. We're sure you always moisturize after your shower, but there's a correct way to do that too. Don't add too much cream on your face, and make sure to tap, not rub it in. Your skin will thank you for it. You don't have to be a dentist to know how important flossing is. Next time, try tying your floss in a knot. With the added tension and grip, your teeth will be cleaner in no time.